Alright guys, your boy's back, and in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you my top 3 favorite anime from fall 2018. Now, coming in at number 3, I got the time I was reincarnated as a slime. Now, I would actually have this as number 2, but because it's not over yet, and I don't know when it's going to end, I'm predicting 25 episodes, but I could be wrong. But, because it's not over yet, I don't want to put it as second place, just because it could get worse, I don't know. I, I don't think it'll get worse, I'm pretty, like, it's a great show. It would be number two if the show would have been over by like the 13th episode or the 12th episode but because it's going to continue on i don't know how for how long i'm thinking 25 episodes but i could be wrong but yeah i have it as number three it's a very good show all the characters are pretty good in my opinion uh, obviously you have <laughs> i say they're all pretty good but yeah i don't know their names very well um Yurimuru? i can't even pronounce his name yeah the main character is slime himself he's uh he's great um every other character is fantastic except for like you know characters that we don't see very often like i think his name's Cajun or Cajun? i don't know the blacksmith guy but you know i'm hoping we get to see a whole lot of it and i'm actually looking forward to like when the show's over i can pick up the manga um so yeah that's something i really want to get into is to watch to not to watch to see to see to read the manga but I'm gonna have to wait for the show to be over to do that because I don't want to spoil anything. Although I'm pretty sure we're quite a bit into the manga, like in terms of the anime itself. So yeah, so that's gonna be my pick for number three. Now coming in at number two, I got Anima Yell. Anima Yell is literally probably a super slept on anime. I'm not gonna say it's like fan, like it's a personal fit. It's like I like it for uh, what's it called this season. I think it's great. I think. Is every episode was extremely enjoyable like it the first episode was fantastic and then from there it just didn't go down either it stayed the same or the episode was better than what it was already a fantastic episode like you know it was already like if I had a grid I'm not gonna show it on the screen obviously but if I had a grid it would have started like at a really good score like at the very top and instead of going down it would just always go either in a straight line or go up you know what I mean and it was just, no, no episode was a letdown, put it that way. Every episode was fantastic, and no episode was a letdown. It was always a joy to watch it. I never felt like, uh, I have to watch an episode, or like, you know, it's like, I just have to get through this episode, and then I can do whatever it is I need to do. No, it was always like, oh, great, an episode's out, you know? And it was only a, the only uh, show that I picked up for Sunday, so it was a nice way to end my week. So yeah, that's why I have it as number two. I forgot to mention, but all the characters are, are fantastic. Uh, I'm not going to say who Best Girl is because, you know, once I get here and in my top threes and stuff like that, I'll eventually get down here to this list. But yeah, uh, I'm going to say it then. But yeah, all the characters were fantastic. Uh, they're all lovable characters. Not a single one that I hated or I felt like was um, something you can, like a character you can just ignore. Uh, so yeah, that's why I have it as number two. Now... I'm going to give some honorable mentions. This does not mean that these shows are my fourth favorite or my fifth favorite. They're just shows that I, I just wanted to mention, you know. It's just an honorable mention, you know. The first one is Jingo-san no Yome. This show was three minutes long. Every episode was three minutes long, so it was a short anime. Uh, it was three minutes long, and I think a minute and 30 of it was, what's it called, the actual show. And the next minute and 30 seconds were, what's it called, the opening. So, in the first episode, they didn't say a single word until the very ending of the episode. And I think they just said, like, three words total? I could be wrong. I don't know. But there was only, like, three words said in the first episode. And it was already, like, a two-star rating. I was like, oh, my God. I read the description. I looked at the picture. I read the description. I'm like, this interests me. But I saw the rating, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to let a review... What's it called? I'm not going to let the, the rating determine what I watch if it's in if it interests me I'm gonna watch it and decide for my own and obviously I can see why they gave it a two star right off the bat but it really did pick up after that like right after the first episode it picked up and it was uh it was very enjoyable you know for a minute and 30 seconds it was nice the next show is as Ms. Beelzebub likes it now it had a similar thing going on it didn't have like the worst rating it didn't have like a two star rating I forgot what kind of a rating it had I think maybe three and a half maybe three and three fourths i don't know 3.75 i don't know but the point is it also had a lower rating just because the, the first episode was kind of a it wasn't even bad i thought it was good but you know what's it called i can see why people 
might have not enjoyed it maybe it was a bit too slow but again just like the last one it really picked up and it picked up a lot better than Jingo san no yome because you know you have 20 minutes to go through it every episode was extremely enjoyable and so yeah that's why i want to put it as an honorable mention because i don't believe these shows deserve the ratings that they got because they had a bad start but they really picked it up just like from episode two they picked it up immensely so now coming in as number one you already know if you didn't if you didn't already guess i don't know what to tell you is zombie land saga this was literally destined to be anime of the season from the first episode and if the first episode didn't convince you the second episode was like bam the first episode you got the heavy metal scene where they're performing live even though like the, re the rest of them are all zombies except for uh uh name sakura i think I can't remember the MC just because I think there's a similar character to the anime I'm watching right now that has a name like that. I'm confusing myself. But I'm pretty sure her name is Sakura. And what's it called? Um, you have her woke. And then in the second episode, you have the rap battle scene. And it's just like, that convinced me at that point. Like, I was already hyped for it for the, from the first episode. And since they woke up, I was like, oh, I can't wait for the next episode because, you know, they're all woke. I want to see what they're thinking. And then you, have the second, then you have the second episode come in with a rap battle scene. And it was just like... It was one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my life. And the memes that you can make from it were great. Someone made, uh, what's it called? Um, they replaced the voices with, what's it called? Uh, the 8 Mile Rap Battle scene. The final one versus Papa Duck. And that was just amazing. And Chris, I also made, uh, what's it called? The Machine Gun Kelly versus uh, Eminem, which was also fantastic, you know. Uh, fantastic editor just overall it was an extremely well done video but the point is the show was fantastic and i know by the third episode people started uh losing like just started bashing it just a little bit because or quite a bit because what's it called oh the cg or the cgi dancing and stuff like that and i come from love life so <laughs> i'm already used to it you know it doesn't really bother me whether it's bad or not it's not something that what's it called i didn't i didn't really pay too much attention to it because uh um, the song was actually really good. I liked the song and I liked how the gorilla dance turned out. You know, they, they messed up. Everybody left and they only, they only got like one fan, the little kid or the little girl. Was it a little girl or a little boy? I'm not sure. It was a kid though that they got a fan from. And after that, it just really picked up. You had the, the sentimental moments, in my opinion, hit. And the funny parts hit enormously well. Like the funny parts were my favorite parts. Like episode four was fantastic. And also the music itself was actually fire. I liked the music. Uh, what was what's the name of the song? Mesmer Returner? Something like that. The point is that song was fire, and then you had the lightning bolt hit them, and they had the auto-tune version of it, which was also fire. You have, what's it called, uh, the personal songs and stuff like that. The parts that hit, again, were, like, the sentimental parts were really well done, I think, and I really hope it comes back for a second season. Shoot, if they make, uh, what's it called, a uh, game? Like, uh, what's it called, Civ? I would play it. I'd play it. I'd probably spend money on it, too. If they made cards like that, I would be like, fuck yeah. Um, it was like, all the characters are extremely lovable. They're all fantastic. I don't even know who Best Girl is. Like, I really don't even know. Like, I'm gonna have to rewatch the show, like, five times just to come to a conclusion. I'm like, just to come to a conclusion, because I don't know who the Best Girl is in Zombieland Saga. They're all fantastic. They all have, like... Like, I can see why people like uh, Yamada Tai from the beginning because of her type of character, you know, she was, uh, <laughs> she was adorable. But literally, what's it called, in the last episode, it just, like, for me, it just skyrocketed and it made my, like, who is best girl really tough. Like, like, she wasn't in my thoughts for the best girl, but after the last episode, I was like, ah, now there's a contender for first place again. I don't know what to do. And so, yeah, thankfully, it's the near bottom of my list. So it's going to be a long time before I get there. So, yeah, hopefully by then I'll figure it out. But, yeah, so that's going to be my top three for uh, what's it called anime fall, fall 2018. That's my top three, and I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, go ahead and like, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.